y'all hey it's me starting on the dragon if you haven't already subscribed go ahead subscribe like comment and share the video okay so i'm about to do leo's and the song that just came on was karma by um summer walker don't you know you can't be right now Be sure. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I'm just here to do my job. Meet you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm 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 sorry. Leo, please. Yeah, Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Ring leader, excuse me. For the Leos. For the Leos, road trip for the Leos. I seen road trip, but it was three at a time. Okay, tying up loose ends for the Leos. Oh baby, can't be sure. I wasted nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Unconditional love. I seen unconditional love for the. Leos. Then we have cross dresser for the Leos. Then we have Indiana for the Leos. Then we have undercover lover for the Leos. On the bottom of the deck, we have Nevada, Illinois, and South America. Then we have secretly in love with you. Making false statements and positive pregnancy tests for the Leos. Okay. So somebody here is definitely receiving karma or something. It's nice to meet you. I'm just here to do my job. So let's see. What's Rhode Island? Clarify Rhode Island for the Leos. That's the truth. Yeah. The truth is coming out about this person from Rhode Island. Or this person from Rhode Island is coming in to deliver the truth, to communicate their truth here. Um, for the Leos. For the Leos. Yeah, this person is mad. This person, this King of Pentacles, could be mad about the truth here. What's Rhode Island? This person could be rushing in very quickly to tell you the truth. Yeah, about this conflict here. Yeah, look, this person is coming in to bring in the truth. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make it so you can see the cards. There was some type of manipulation at some point. Maybe there was somebody who was trying to be controlling within a situation. This person is heartbroken because it's over. Whoever this is in Rhode Island for the Leos. Okay, or you could be in Rhode Island. Pick whatever side of this you are on. Let's see. What is the ringleader for the Leos? Ringleader for the Leos. We have the world and then we have seven of cups. So the world represents an ending to something, a closure to some type of cycle. Something is, is closing out. Okay, somebody's lies, somebody's manipulation, somebody's illusions, delusions, all of that is, is closed out. This ringleader here. Whatever this was, this illusion that somebody was trying to strategize to hold back somebody from 
possibly hold you back from an opportunity, Leo. I feel like you staying patient and committed to whatever this is that you're committed to is what's bringing in justice here, what's bringing in the karma. Because what somebody put out is what they're receiving back here. Yeah, and then we have five of pentacles here. Now someone here is will be left or is left completely exposed and they regret it. The truth has come out about whoever this ringleader is who is strategizing to create illusions. This person was emotionally manipulative. This person would come in and try to be all like they're grounded and loving and sweet and gentle and all this stuff. But really, they were creating, they were the, the, the mastermind behind a bunch of illusions and lies created about you, Leo. So let's see, what's tying up loose ends? Tying up loose ends for the Leos. So King of Pentacles with the... Somebody here could be wanting to tie up loose ends with a father figure here when because we see the children or the child in this card. They want to have some type of ending or releasing of energy here. Could be trying to end out something. Somebody here also could have tried to end out some a, a connection or something that you were in. To could have been trying to take some type, yeah, could some type of action towards a connection that you were in. Okay, so let's see. What is this uh, tying up loose ends for the Leos? Tying up loose ends. We have the Empress here. And then we have the High Priestess. Tying up loose ends. Yeah, okay. So somebody here definitely could have been trying to tie up loose ends when it comes to... Um, when it comes to you, Leo. This would be like... With this energy, this is also two maternal type figures with the Queen of Cups and the Empress card. This is two people who are uh, maternal energies. But this will also be someone who is a high priestess empress who is up on some type of platform where it's like someone here is trying to tie up loose ends when it comes to this person. Okay? This Ace of Cups individual. This person who's a healer. Um, yeah, this person is a healer or something like that. I do see or feel some type of like kidnapping energy y'all so y'all um y'all pay attention to that don't know why i feel kidnapping energy but tying up loose ends i, I see and i feel and i hear kidnapping energy yeah this 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 okay so somebody here definitely wants to tie up some type of loose ends before moving on this would be um, somebody here who was coming in trying to be like loving and sweet towards you or something like that. But it's like you can see through it. Now somebody here is um, they in regret because it's like whatever they were trying to do, offer this love cup or whatever. It's like somebody here, somebody here um, is receiving judgment. What else? This is something that's happening in the dark. Somebody here is secretly trying to tie up loose ends with you or this individual is trying to lie, tie up loose ends with you or you're trying to tie up loose ends with them. But this cycle is closed out. Somebody here has to heal or so there's a need for healing in this situation. Somebody could be heartbroken, hoping on something here, but there's a need for healing. Because I do see that um, you you are being guided to move away from this individual. And this is causing the tower moment. But somebody here um, did not give the way that you were giving into something. Could have been like trying to balance, try to be patient and or whatever or something here. But it's like something got exposed with tying up loose ends. Or something will be getting exposed. Yeah. There's a family situation. This could have been somebody who you had a family with. This could be between a baby mother, baby father situation where somebody here wants to tie up loose ends. Yeah, they have some type of plan. They have some type of plan to like isolate themselves or isolate something here or isolate someone possibly could be trying to manipulate a situation 
with a lover's situation to create some uh, ending or to create someone feeling or, or someone here feels left out in the cold or to make someone feel left out in the cold, make someone worry about like cheating and lustful energy here or somebody here is worried about that, could be jumping to conclusions about someone who is at a distance. So we got tying up loose ends. This is a lover's situation. Yeah. But I see something something is coming is is coming to the light here. Someone here possibly could have been like Yeah, somebody here definitely it's like now somebody something came to the light when it came to this Empress individual. This person who was once a hermit is now speaking very clearly, very clearly, very sharply, very bluntly, very direct, very direct. I see someone getting ready to walk away here from whatever this is that they were working on. Because it's like there could have been some type of manipulation or control there, or maybe there is some type of manipulation here. Someone has to protect themselves from someone who is um, playing mind games as well. So let's see, what's cross-dresser? Yeah, mind games. I see mind games. I also see competition or competitive energy. This person could be putting you in competition with others. Yeah, somebody here definitely could be putting you in competition with others. Yep. With the sun card, I feel like your intuition exposes it every time. Like, don't doubt your intuition, whatever this is. It's something about a watching, a watching and a messaging. A watching and a messaging of energies here. Someone here also is like, it's like a lie and then a communication, but blockage. It's a lie, but a, a communication blockage or something like that. Something's being exposed. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. What is this? Um, somebody here also plans to take risks. Somebody plans to take a risk so in, a, in a direction, though. Somebody's in a lustful energy. Just pay attention to that. Okay. So here also could have been trying to keep you out in the cold when it comes to work. Trying to end out whatever this is that you're working on. Could have been trying to manipulate a situation to control a situation here. It's like someone here was, they benefited from you being a hermit. They benefited from you being in low vibration. They benefited from stealing off, stealing your light or, or taking your light, whatever this is. But it's like you, you speak. Mm -hmm. You're speaking very clearly here about whatever this is. You're speaking very clearly. It's like somebody getting cut off and someone else here is getting um like elevated. Whoever this star is, they're getting elevated. Okay? Because it's like some type of karmics have been have been overworking to Overworking, gang stalking, gang spell working, whatever you want to call it, where they all sit around and they get on Zoom or whatever they do and light the candles at the same time to try and take you down. They're just trying to tie up loose ends. They're watching you here. Somebody here is definitely, whoever this is that's watching you that's been trying to hold you down, Leo, I do see that they're going to be in remorse. They're going to be very much remorseful here when they start to go through judgment and their judgment is that they are... Out of four of pentacles. People are holding on, holding back from them. People, if they call someone or whatever, they don't want to talk. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. What is this um, cross-dresser energy for the Leos? Cross-dresser. <clears throat> there could be somebody here who is a cross-dresser who could be worried about saying whatever they said. Some type of message that they've been holding on to. They're worried. Maybe they haven't been speaking. They haven't been speaking. And they're worried here. Because they know you're protected from whatever this action is that they were trying to take. Yeah, but it's an ending here. I do see an ending. 
what's this cross dressing? Cross dressing, yeah. There was a there was some type of there was some type of uh, manipulation here. Somebody was being manipulated, some type of sexual energy as well. Somebody here um could have taken a lot of lustful action or or did something. Yeah, five of cross dresser, five of five of swords. This is also third party situation here. There was a third party situation. Somebody was uh, being a cross a cross dresser, but I feel like you are it's coming to light. Whatever this is with this cross dresser here. Somebody who was taking action. Three of Cups, Strength card. This is definitely a manipulative energy. This is definitely a third party karmic energy that um, was a cross dresser here. Anything? Yeah, somebody was sleeping with a cross dresser. Or something like that. Strength card. Somebody here is too, too, somebody here is trying to manipulate and control a situation. But I do feel like you're going to walk away from that. You're about to take action in a new direction and walk away from whoever or whatever that is. What is that? Yeah, because they come in like, you know, they love you, like they're ready to work on it with you or whatever this is. But this is only because somebody is going through judgment. Okay. Yeah, there's also someone, this karmic individual, this person is at a distance from you, hoping that they can they can reconcile with you as well. They're stressing out. They're stressing out, desiring to message you um, and, and take action towards you as well. But they they they're trying to be they're trying to manipulate a situation. They're trying to control a situation too much. Their controlling is getting them left out in the cold, or will be getting them left out in the cold. Yeah, death cards. Could be a Scorpio involved. Somebody here definitely is about to get left down in the cold. Indiana. Indiana. So, tower moment. So, there could be a, a love offering coming in from Indiana. Um, Or maybe this person could be coming in from Indiana here and it's like you could have to be some sort of uh this could be family. You could be this would be like a younger a younger sibling or younger um niece or nephew or something like that that maybe you have to you have to um raise in some type of way. Be a be some type of um authority figure too. But I also, I feel like this person could be very prideful and arrogant or something like that. And so this is blocking, their pride is blocking their logic. Indiana. This person could be from Indiana or you could be from Indiana here. Yeah. There's some type of action that's going to come in with that. Some type of message. Maybe this, is, this could also be, somebody here also could be messaging someone. They could be messaging someone from Indiana or in Indiana as well. But whoever that is, somebody here feels rejected. They feel ghosted. Because they're in some type of commitment. Somebody definitely plans to reconcile with someone in Indiana. This could be someone who has some type of um, relationship or marriage or something like that. Maybe this is somebody who's divorced. But whatever it is, it's going to be... It's, it also could be a third party, y'all. But it, whatever it is, it's going to be exposed. It's going to be exposed. Somebody here could be planning... Could be messaging someone now, but planning to ghost them or something like that. Just be patient. Somebody here has to be patient as that situation involve, involves or uh, evolves. So let's see, what's undercover lover? Yeah, that Indiana person, that could be the person who is an undercover lover. Undercover lover, yeah. I feel like you're not, your intuition is not lying to you, Leo, when you feel as though someone has an undercover lover. 
I do feel like your intuition is on point. I feel like maybe you could have been indecisive here um, and, and, you know, didn't really want to regret making the wrong decision. But I see you see the truth about this illusion here. There is there is a there is an illusion that you will see the truth about. There is something that's going on. I do feel it's like you're gonna make the choice here to ghost the situation. You're gonna make a choice to ghost the situation, release the situation. I see you manifesting um a marriage or manifesting someone. Um, yeah, marriage with the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah. Or maybe somebody here is worried about this person messaging someone or something like that. Or maybe this person will be messaging messaging something from the past. It's something from the past. With this undercover lover here. Somebody here could have took some type of action. Some type of betrayal here. Whatever this lie was. It's going to be exposed with this undercover lover. Somebody here is definitely moving forward. Or coming towards you to speak the truth. And tell you what it is that happened. While um, you were in a some type of relationship. Or some type of commitment. Um, there was a third party here. There was a third party. There was some type of investment. There was some sort of juggling energy for whatever reason. Someone here was holding back and re somebody here was holding back and rejecting you or they were, yeah, or you were rejecting them or maybe this is what you'll do. But either way, it's going to be justice and karma. Okay, justice and karma. So let's see for the Leo's. Somebody has an undercover lover. <clears throat> and the person could possibly be a cross dresser. This could possibly be a cross dresser. Okay, so what's this Rhode Island with the Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, Five of Wands? So somebody here definitely is, is talking a lot, has a lot of rumors going on with this person from Rhode Island with the Leos here. The truth here. Somebody here sees the truth. By Christmas time, somebody going to get caught up as well. Or this could be somebody who has a gift of seeing the truth. And this is what gets them caught up. So let's see. Uh, or gets this person from Rhode Island caught up. So let's see. What's this Knight of Swords with Rhode Island? Knight of Swords with Rhode Island. So mirroring here. Knight of Swords. So whatever... Look the Leo here. What's the what's the mirroring card? What is Knight of Swords with Rhode Island for the Leos? Knight of Swords. Somebody here was could have been with arrested in sexual fantasies and new view, maybe somebody here felt like they had to have sex with someone and now it's like they're realizing that they don't. Someone here could have been getting angry at you for not wanting to have sex with you or for you not wanting to have sex with them and now they're in the same situation where it's like they don't, you don't want to have sex here or something like that. Or maybe it's like somebody took some type of impulsive action when it comes to some type of like, trying to bind somebody up sexually and like now it's like they're going through the same things and they uh regret whatever they were doing because now it's like they're seeing things from a new view now they're bound or tied to something some type of quick impulsive action that they imposed upon you to try to create conflict and now it's like they're going through it and people know about it a lot of people know about it 
And it also was some type of action that was taken with this Rhode Island person where and someone here could have it could have resulted in someone here going to jail. Some type of angry action. But it's like this person does desire you. Let's see, what's the five of wands? Five of wands for the Leos with the Rhode Island. Five of wands for the Leo. Um, obsession. So this person from Rhode Island is obsessed with you. They're stubbornly obsessed with causing chaos and confusion and conflict. Stubbornly trying to continuously create issues here. This is somebody who you kicked out of your life because you realize that they were not who they pretended to be, Leo. So let's see. What's ringleader with the world? Ringleader with the world? That could be pertaining to somebody who is uh, a tarot card reader as well or some type of motivational speaker. What's the world with the ringleader? Caught up tarot card reading. So somebody here definitely got caught up for doing tarot card readings or something like that. Or maybe somebody here is starting to see things different. Maybe they were trying to catch a, a tarot card reader up. But whatever this is, is I see relax. I see you can relax now, Leo. Because whoever this ringleader was that was lying on you, creating all these illusions, it's like all the confusion they were trying to bring. It's no longer. It's like yeah, your your people are seeing things from a new from a new perspective. So let's see, what's the seven of swords? Or maybe they see things from a new a new perspective. What is seven of swords? Seven of swords with the ringleader. Missing piece here. Somebody here missing piece with tricks and illusions. Somebody here was missing a major piece of the puzzle. But this blackmail behind the scenes, it was over with. Whatever they were trying to lie and manipulate, it's over. Okay. Ringleader with the Seven of Swords. New view. Yeah. Somebody here was codependent on people seeing you from uh, in a bad way. But now it's like the missing piece of this puzzle that someone here that was lying, whoever this ringleader was, they don't realize how it's like, okay, well, people see you in a new view. So now they look, they're bound to whatever illusions that they were, or whatever lies they was telling in the past. Okay, they're they're the only one bound to, to that. They're the only one who is focused on that. This is, again, the obsessive energy here. This ringleader missed the mark. Okay, they kept going with something and got stuck in the past and kept trying to conjure up something to try and tie up what they call loose ends and create blockages here, but it didn't go nowhere. Yeah, because they was just lying. Whoever that was, they were just lying. All their illusions was locked, was blocked. Evil eye. Somebody here sent an evil eye. Spell work. They was doing spell work trying to manipulate your force or manipulate your situation to get you caught up. Or to, um, yeah, their spell work caught up to them. All their jealousy, all their envy, all their nastiness, it caught up to them. Okay, so let's see. What's tying up loose ends with the, with the Empress? Clarify the Empress. This phase will soon end. So whatever this was with the Empress, this phase will soon end. Be grateful here. What's this? Uh, what's this? The the high priestess with tying up loose ends. Follow the signs and the symbols. So trust your intuition when it's like you feel like, hey, I need to go. This person is a catfish, or this person is not who they appear to be, or who they say they will be, or who they 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 not who they they not. They're just not. Okay, black magic here. Tying up loose ends, transformation. Okay, so let's see. What's this uh, six of wands? Tying up loose ends, six of wands. Lying. Somebody here was definitely trying to ruin your reputation, trying to say that, trying to create confusion, cause confusion for you, Leo, by saying that you was a liar, trying to say that whatever it is that you, they was actually, this person was lying to get attention. Whoever this was, was lying on you, Leo, to get attention. Or they was lying on whoever this Empress High Priestess energy was in order to get attention. Okay. So I feel like now, you know, follow the signs or people are following signs and symbols. You're following signs and symbols. And now it's like the phase will soon end. Somebody definitely was trying to ruin your reputation or come for your reputation um, because you're a high priestess or an empress or something like that here. But it's like whatever happens. Yeah, they were warned. Somebody here was warned not to do this. 
They was warned to stop lying. They was warned here. So now we have tying up loose ends, blockages, access denied. Whoever this catfish is, this person could have been trying to block you and get you, um, make it seem like you are a catfish and have other people block you. But I do feel like in the end, this person ends up blocking whoever that catfish is. But somebody was doing, doing, yeah, and there's a new job coming in where there's a lot of money that's going to be made. This empress just had, this empress just, uh, had to tie up loose ends with whoever this was that was lying and being childish, you know, or whoever this was that was lying on them. Somebody was lying on you or lying to you, one of the two. Oh, lying on you. Because look, catfish came up in the reverse. This empress is not a catfish. This is somebody's life purpose. And now it's like people are realizing that, hey, this person, whoever this performer is, this healer is, this was an illusion. Okay, somebody here was creating illusions around an empress to get them fired. Okay, but now it's like whoever this, whoever, whoever this was, I do see them being released from whatever energy that they were in, whatever position or role that they were in, whatever tricks they were played. Yeah, there was a lot of tricks that were played. Somebody here is getting kicked out um, because of the tricks that they played. Okay, every what this say? This says your life is a projection of the energy you're putting out. Somebody got all the energy that they put out and that they invested in towards this empress right back to them. All this blackmail energy, all that came right back to them here. All this toxic family, toxic community, black magic, whatever this was, somebody it all it helped this empress here to transform. It it balanced out her gifts and made her gifts stronger. Okay, someone here also tried to say that you were doing black magic and stuff. But really, what it was was you were a high priestess. You were somebody who can see through illusions. So whatever, you know, shit. You have angels assigned to you at birth, and you also have demons assigned to you at birth. You have angels that are assigned to you to get you where you're supposed to go, and you have demons who are assigned to you to tear you down and destroy you and keep you blocked off from your life purpose. This empress... Her demon was somebody was lying on her and saying that she wasn't mentally stable and that she does black magic and um, to ruin her reputation. OK, that's what that that's that's what she had to overcome in order to be able to stand in the position as an empress and as a high priestess. She had to overcome um, the lies and the rumors and all this extra stuff that was spread over her. OK, so she had to go through a whole what they call initiation process. So now, yeah, this is a tarot card reading. So now I do see that the guy, your guides are cut, are tying up loose ends when it comes to whoever that was. Everybody who was involved in um, lying on you and creating this illusion about you doing, you know, tarot card readings and spell work and all this extra stuff. And yeah, so. Yeah, let's keep moving. So cross dresser with the uh hangman in reverse. Cross dresser with hangman in reverse. Cross dresser with hangman in reverse for the Leos. So stuck in the past. So maybe um so maybe you become enlightened about a cross dresser, possibly in the past, who could have um Took some sort of action towards you out of jealousy or something like that. This could have been somebody who was in your family or a part of some type of community here. Black magic stuck in the past here. Whatever it is, is somebody here has definitely become illumin has become um aware of who this was. You are going to become aware of who this is. Somebody was definitely warned about doing this black magic. Somebody did something in the past and now it's beginning to manifest in their life. Yeah, they thought it was funny, but it's starting to manifest in their life. Like literally everything that they were manifesting over you, Leo, as this muse here, is starting to manifest in their life. So let's see. Um, Hangman in reverse again. Cleanse your space. Hangman in reverse. Sexual fantasies. Yeah, it's, be, it's becoming enlightened about somebody's sexual fantasies, what they what they prefer. It's like you're gonna be guided to go somewhere or go do something here, and it's gonna be balanced out. Somebody, this cross dresses sexual fantasies. You're about to so you about to see something. Okay, you about to see something. 
You about to you about to see something. You about to see things from a whole another perspective. Yeah, you about to see through the fog here, Leo. When it comes to this who this person with this meant to be altercation here, leaving it behind. Whatever this is, somebody be doing behind the scenes here. It's like you're about to you about to realize like, hold up, wait a minute. Fired. You so said you somebody getting fired and then you're going towards an upgrade. Okay? So let's see, what's this King of Wands? King of Wands, because somebody was sleeping with a somebody was somebody was sleeping with a um a broco. That's what I heard. A broco in the with this money flow in the reverse. This was a cross dressing broco, something like that. They was having sex with somebody like that, or they maybe they, maybe they was messaging somebody like that. I don't know how this go. Confusion. What's this here with the five of swords? Yeah, behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, somebody behind the scenes. Somebody was being fake, not not who they who they were um, pretending to be. What's the five of swords? Five of swords, guarded, access denied, caution. So somebody here is being warned when it comes to um, this family members or something like that here who being childish or this group who's being childish here. Um, but somebody here is definitely being warned. They're being warned to stop, to, to, to leave it alone. It's a blockage. It's a deadfall. Whatever this, whatever this, uh, competitive energy is, somebody here definitely has to take, take, has to sit back and self-reflect and ask themselves, why in the hell? Why? Behind the scenes there, somebody here is fake. Submerging their feelings because you could be seeing through the fog. You could be seeing through the illusion here. When it comes to this meant to be person, damn, it's a, yeah, it's an illusion here. Somebody here likes to overindulge, caught up. Yeah, relationship. Somebody here, who, this is either somebody who you're in a relationship. Yeah, this could be somebody who you're in a relationship with. This person could be um, engaging with cross dressers in some type of way. Or maybe this is somebody who who's go both ways in some type of way. Jump to uh, fork in the road, jump to conclusions, new view. Okay, so before you jump to conclusions, you might have to actually look at it from this person's perspective or something like that. I'm not too sure, but it's definitely gonna be a moment where you gonna have to like everybody gonna have to sit down and be like, hold on, wait a minute. What the hell going on? Yeah. Yeah. Catfish, altercation, that somebody is not who they pretend to be. It's a problem. It's a problem that's going to arise. And yep, somebody here about to get caught up. Caught up. Okay, so well, look out. I'm going to look out for whatever that is. So let's see. What's Indiana on the tower moment for the Leos? Altercation. It's definitely going to be an altercation. It's definitely going to be a problem. So let's see. Because somebody here feels bound to a situation where it's like they can't really be themselves or something. So let's see. What's this tower card? Yep, the hidden truth. They cannot be themselves. This person cannot be themselves. With you. Because maybe they 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 desire to be a cross-dresser or they are a cross-dresser. Or so, I don't know what the hell. Or they sleeping with a cross-dresser. They got you in competition with a cross-dresser. By Christmas, New Year's, I feel like you're going to be seeing things from a different perspective here. Yeah, because this is all about desires desires a relationship somebody here desires a relationship with someone else possibly a, a cross dresser yeah and your angels are trying to tell you to, to to do something here block this person you're being warned here you're being warned you're being warned about whoever this is Okay, so let's see. What's this Knight of Cups? I do see the truth coming towards you. Somebody here is going to bring you some type of truth. Knight of Cups stuck in the past here. Maybe this is something that someone used to do as a child or something that, you know, I don't know. Somebody here has to choose to grow. Somebody here could be in a space where they, have, they just got to choose to grow. Somebody has to choose to grow and release whatever this is so that they can be their on their most honest self. Let's see, what's this King of Swords with Indiana? Overindulging. What's this uh King of Swords with Indiana? King of Swords ending. There's definitely gonna be an ending to whatever this this King of Swords was trying to do or whatever this was. Somebody here could have been 
somebody was trying to come in. It's going to be a, a, a swift cut, a swift chop with this person. Spell work, new line of study. It's, yeah, somebody here could have been trying to do spell work or trying to do death, excuse me, death spells, death magic here. And I do see that a king of sword, like an avenging angel is coming down and slicing somebody up. I do see that. I do see that. Yeah, Christmas and denied here. Denied. So somebody here um, blockages. Somebody here could have been trying to block your gifts as well. So they could have been trying to do spell work over you to try to block your gifts, purify your energy here. This could have been somebody who was doing like energy ciphering spells so that when it, if they could block your gifts that they would receive your gifts or they're trying to, trying to look into your Akashic records and stuff like that, whatever it is. Somebody here just bound themselves up. Your ancestors, your angels bound bound up this person to filth, okay? <laughs> Whatever they tried to do, they they definitely bound up that person. Somebody here has, they have to heal in, on like, they got to heal on like multiple dimensions. Like somebody ancestors drug them from multiple dimensions, okay? They drug them through multiple dimensions, Okay, because somebody here took a job and chose to be childish and keep doing something or something like that. Or maybe, I don't know, y'all. Yeah, they got addicted to it. Now somebody bound up. They're bound to whatever addiction they had to um, whatever this magic was. Guidance. And I see you being guided here. You being guided, you have a new job, you're still moving forward. Someone here is confused because of all the action that they took behind the scenes. They're like, how is it that, you know, this person is still, you know, protected or guarded or, you know, how is it that they're able to still manifest new cycles and grow here? They're still trying to understand. And so everybody else is all in their feelings and upset because it's not going the way that they thought or hoped that it would go with this spell work here. Okay, so let's see. What is this um, undercover lover with the Queen of Cups? Undercover lover with the Queen of Cups. Undercover lover with the Queen of Cups for the Leos. Balance. So your angels, your ancestors are telling you, yeah, they're going to bring in balance here for this undercover lover situation. This is something that maybe you feel, but you don't see. Undercover lover with the Two of Swords. Two of Swords. What's this undercover lover with the Two of Swords? Undercover illusions on the bottom of the deck. Undercover lover with the Two of Swords. Somebody here desires relationship. Yeah, somebody here. There's somebody who partner who you're in a relationship with here. Undercover lover who can have an undercover lover. Caught up. Yeah, they could be getting caught up here. What's the Two of Swords? An undercover lover for the Leos. Two of Swords, undercover lovers for the Leos. Codependency. Somebody here doesn't... Somebody... Somebody here could be feeling like... They're codependent here. Somebody here is, could be indecisive. They could be indecisive. This undercover lover could be feeling indecisive or feeling blocked or... I don't know. <coughs> Somebody here definitely feels like this person needs to make a choice. They got to make a choice. Okay, somebody here could be, could be, I don't know. They could be indecisive because they're codependent here. So they keep doing this trick. It's like maybe you thought it was an upgrade, but it's a trick here. Then we have leveling up and childish. So somebody here is like childish and the other person is leveling up or something like that. What is what is this undercover lover? Life purpose and guidance here. So somebody here, undercover lover could be indecisive. This person could be... This person, it's like maybe you're being guided. You're it's like you're being guided to see through the fog and move on here into your life purpose. Keep going in towards your life purpose. Um undercover lover could also be people who secretly love you. 
secretly who regret whatever they've done towards you because now they see you in your life purpose as a guy and they desire to you they need you they become codependent on your energy they're like indecisive on whether or not they want to let you go or whether or not they want to stay around you because it's like dang this person is surprising the hell out of me here okay they want to they want to they want you to let your guard down for them from them um leo they secret they secretly love you they secretly appreciate you um yeah I don't know, but somebody here, I like this person could have also been being very fake here and whatever they were trying to create for you, whatever endings they were creating, it's like, whatever, I don't know. Let me do it again. Hold on. Five of, five of cups for the Leos. Caught up. So yeah, somebody here definitely regrets whatever was done or whatever is going on here behind the scenes with these undercover lovers they regret it here because somebody actions have caught up to them or somebody actions will catch up to them all this black magic that somebody here was warned about is like they are warned not to do it but they continue to do it they continue to um manipulate and be manipulative despite despite somebody here having a a, a, a high intuition like yeah, yeah. Someone here, someone here was like stubbornly doing black magic over you, even though they secretly loved you. They secretly were, you know, inspired by you or something like that. They were, they were stubbornly doing something undercover behind the scenes to, yeah, to you, Leo. They were secretly causing altercation, causing problems for you, um, sending you evil eyes, sending you all this chaos magic, dark magic, trying to make you confused when it comes to your gifts and all of it continuously gets blocked, Leo. All of it gets blocked. All of it gets cleansed away. All of it gets purified. You know, angels help you to heal this every single time here. And so now it's like somebody's choices and actions. It's like it's just literally projecting right back to them. Whatever this card says, your life is a projection of the energy you're putting out. So if somebody's life is falling the fuck apart, it's because they've been putting, they've been sending out all this black magic that they were warned not to do, Leo. Okay. Yeah somebody here is like they're all in their feelings they're upset leo they're upset because you're leveling up and they know that they were being childish here they were being childish they're all in their feelings now because you have moved on you've leveled up you've gotten a new job you've gone into a new life purpose this person wants to apologize here for all the blackmail and for playing is playing in your face or whatever they was doing because they see things from a new view but it's like you like baby you not going to, you, this person was doing all this spell work over you, Leo. They got addicted to doing spell work over you. Somebody here, let their addictions to doing spell work over you. Um, even though behind, like they, they were doing all this shit behind the scenes, all this black magic that they was warned not to do. I have to say that a few times. Somebody was warned to stop doing black magic. Somebody here was very, that most definitely warned to stop doing whatever this was that they were doing behind the scenes because they were overindulging. And so that's why this resulted in somebody here getting kicked out of your life, of your energy. There was a major transformation because of this. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, Leo. So that is what I have for y'all. Y'all go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.